Hi friends, uh, this is a tutorial about Oracle Apex administration. So, uh, as all you, uh, as all of you know, Oracle Apex is a uh, rapid application development tool RAD, which sits on top of Oracle database. It stores some metadata in Oracle database, and with the web listener, we connect to the through through a web browser we connect to the apex uh, metadata and that's how apex uh, works it's a very easy tool to build uh, on top of oracle database to create a web application so i am subrata sarkar i will be your instructor for this course i have around 20 years of experience working in different oracle technologies like oracle apex uh, oracle forms and reports uh, oracle dba oracle web logic and so on uh, in this course we will be covering our uh, oracle apex admin syllabus so it's basically installation of windows 10 on oracle virtual box we will download the windows is image and install windows 10 on an oracle virtual box then on that Windows 10 virtual box, we will install Oracle 19C database and create a database. And then we will install Oracle Apex 20.1, which is the latest version on that uh, on the newly created Oracle database. We will install Tomcat. Uh, this is required for ORDS or Oracle Apex listener. Then we will install Oracle uh, ORDS, Oracle REST Data Service or Oracle Apex Listener and we will connect to the Apex instance both through PLSQL Embedded Gateway and ORDS and then finally we will uh, talk about some Oracle Apex admin tasks from the admin URL. So that's pretty much about the syllabus. Now uh, let me give you an overview about the Oracle Apex architecture. <clears throat> so you can choose any one of the three web listeners Oracle REST data service or ORDS, Oracle HTTP server and embedded PLSQL gateway. Oracle Application Express uses a simple architecture where pages are dynamically generated using the metadata stored in Oracle database. There is no code generation or file-based compilation. Only full, once fully installed, fully installed, a uniform resource locator URL is defined for both developers and end users to access Oracle Application Express. Users require only a web browser and the required URL, no additional client software is required. So you can see in the diagram, the metadata for Oracle Apex is stored inside the Oracle database. And through a web listener, the web browser connects to the Apex instance. And this web listener can be of three types, as I just mentioned. One is ORDS, the other is HTTP server, and the third one is embedded PLSQL gateway. The web listener functions as a communication broker between the web browser and the Oracle Apex objects in the Oracle database by mapping browser requests into database stored procedure calls. You have a choice of three web listeners, Oracle REST data service, formerly known as Oracle Apex listener, ORDS, Oracle HTTP server and embedded PLSQL gateway. ORDS, ORDS, Oracle REST data service, formerly, formerly known Oracle Apex, uh, Oracle application Apex listener, is a Java based and can be installed into any supported J2E compliant web browser server and is preferred option for use with Oracle Apex application express. It's a free tool that is fully supported against Oracle WebLogic Server, Oracle Glassfish Server, and Apache Tomcat. Oracle REST Data Service is part of the reference architecture used to operate Oracle Database Cloud Service. 
there is a note here there are licensing costs associated with oracle weblogic server and oracle glass glassfish server enterprise edition oracle glassfish community edition is at is a no cost option we will be using oracle apache tom uh, we will be using apache, apache tomcat in in this tutorial for the web server uh, it's a it's a it's a no cost option using oracle later rest it as a business creates an architecture which consists of a web browser oracle rest data services and oracle database containing oracle application express the major advantage of this architecture is separation of big tier and the database tier <laughs> embedded pl sql gateway oracle xml db protocol server with embedded pl sql gateway installs with oracle database this by default installs in oracle database embedded pl sql gateway provides the oracle database with a web server and also necessary infrastructure to create dynamic applications the embedded pl sql gateway runs in an oracle xml db protocol server in oracle database and includes the core features of mod pl sql the embedded gateway consists of simple two tier architecture a web browser and an oracle database containing the embedded pl sql gateway and oracle application express the advantages of pl sql gateway include ease of configuration included in the database no separate server installation where images are stored using embedded pl sql gateway when running oracle application express with embedded pl sql gateway images are stored directly in the database within the oracle xml db repository you can access images by using web tab feature of oracle xml db or by using ftp the third one which is no longer supported is http server with an mod pl sql the oracle http server apache and with mod pl sql can be placed on the same physical machine as the database or on a separate physical machine mod sql note here is a note mod pl sql is depreciated as of oracle http server 12c 12.1.3 for more information see my uh, my oracle support note 1576588.1 oracle recommends using oracle data rest data services instead if i should we if oracle http server install on the same mich physical machine as database then the oracle http server is included as part of limited license included with the database license otherwise you must obtain separate oracle http server license using oracle http server with mod pl sql creates an architecture of a web browser oracle http server with mod pl sql oracle database containing oracle application express this architecture separates the mid tier and the database tier so here is a comparison as you can see image location is file system in both the cases configuration option we have gui interface and the other one is database access descriptor that connection pool setting we have jdbc parameters we have main max pair servers max clients emit restful web service yes the other is no support multi databases yes including oracle rack the other is also yes including oracle rack virus scan finds yes with integrated isap server and the other one is no pdf printing is yes for oracle rest data service but http server and pl sql gateway it is no environment recommendations all and the other one is also all so that's a comparison between ods and http server However, HTTP server is no longer supported, so Oracle uh, recommends to use ORDS instead. So that's pretty much about an overview of uh, Oracle Apex and Web Listener. We will be installing uh, Oracle Apex uh, on PL SQL Gateway first, and we we'll log into the admin URL, 
and then we will configure ORDS and uh, create uh, an ORDS instance and we will open the Apex URL from the ORDS port. Uh, so thank you for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.